Bringing Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Thursday, August 3rd. You give them something to eat. A devotion written by Dr. Carrie Vaux based on Matthew chapter 14. Now when Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied, and they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Carivo writes, I wonder what the disciples' faces looked like when Jesus said that to them. You give them something to eat. They knew they didn't have what it took to do the job. Why was Jesus asking then? And yet, God does the same thing today, doesn't he? One phone call or letter, and your life is changed forever. You want me to raise that child, Lord? I haven't got the first idea what to do. Or, you're going to dump that project in my lap, God? You know I don't have those skills. Or, my own favorite from young adulthood, you're calling me to be a what? Jesus has a habit of calling the unqualified to do the impossible. I've always suspected it has something to do with his sense of humor. And it makes for some terrifying moments. But in the end, it comes out all right for the disciples and for us. Because Jesus supplies what we lack, whether it's wisdom, money, courage, or miracle-working power. The disciples told him honestly what they had and Jesus worked with that. His instructions were plain and simple, and in the end, everyone was fed. When God faces us with the impossible, we can do what the disciples did. Tell him honestly, this is all I can bring to the situation, and then wait. Because in the end, it isn't us in charge, it's Jesus. This is the God who planned to save the entire world, including us, from the power of sin, death, and the devil, and how? Using only a single human life, his own. He laid down that life for all of us on a cross outside Jerusalem, paying the price for all our evil. And three days later, he rose from the dead, breaking the power of death not just for himself, but for all of us who trust in him. That's a lot to do with so little. And he can do extraordinary things with us limited people as well, if we will trust him. We pray, Dear Lord, help me to trust you when you call on me to do something for you. Amen. Amen.